Hey everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. In this video we are looking at the Final Fantasy trading card game. Yes, there actually is an official Final Fantasy trading card game that I guess maybe a lot of people don't really know about. Even Final Fantasy fans, sorry about that, I'm trying to angle it right. Alright, so this in particular is the two player starter set. Cloud versus Sephiroth. That's right. So it is um it is one of several different starter sets out there that you can find them pretty easily actually. Um, it's it's kind of crazy just how many there actually are, but this one here has two pre-constructed decks, Cloud 50 cards, Sephiroth 50 cards, and then a quick starter guide times two. Let's go ahead and open this. It's actually not that bad to open these things. Um, they're actually pretty easy from the top. Just, you know, remove the flap there and just kind of go like that. Oop, the thing, oh, how'd that fell? Anyway, it goes on that, of course, for painting, but there we go. That's it for that right there, so I can get rid of this thing here. And then we're going to look into this. So this here is also sealed, as you can see. These things look nice, honestly. They look really, really nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, it's very shiny too, like very, very shiny. We are going to go ahead and remove this here. Here are the starter, or quick starter guys. And then here's the two decks. They are sealed though, so I'm not gonna like, you know, scatter them all over the place, but I will remove this. Okay. So basically, this is how one of them looks like. Just so I can show you in case you are wondering. It's uh, kind of big. This is how it looks. So it says, you know, Final Fantasy Trading Card Game Starter Guide. And then it's basically all of this right here, as you can see. How to play a card, abilities, and so on. If you are interested in learning how to play this game, I can actually make a video of this. How to play the Final Fantasy Trading Card Game. Uh, that may actually be, I don't know, interesting to some of you who actually want to see this, but yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, so just make sure to request it if you actually want to see one of those types of videos. But yeah, that's how it looks. And they actually provide two. That way you don't have to be sharing, you know, with one person. You each have your own in terms of how to play. Now what we're going to be doing is um, opening these here. So there are two of them, the Cloud and the Sephiroth. There's a lot of different ones that come in like just one starter deck and then the others come in, you know, sets of two. Um, so kind of however you want to, but there are plenty. So let's go ahead and just begin with the, uh, I'll, I'll begin with the Sephiroth one, sure. This should also be relatively simple to open, I think. It's just from the top. There we go, finally got it. Took a little while to reach that much, but here we go. So we're gonna remove this, and just so we can kind of see what we got here. So the first thing, we have Sephiroth. Look at that. I'm not going to be talking about what all these things are. Uh, I will read the effect of this one though because it's the you know one in the front. Basically, it says forward soldier. When Sephiroth attacks, dole all the forwards opponent controls with 8,000 power or less at the end of each of your turns. Remove three cards from your break zone from the game or put Sephiroth into the break zone. 9,000. Wow. Wow. They also feel very like oh my god. I don't even know how to describe the feeling, but. Well, look at all these. All right, let's go one at a time here. So I'm going to just put the Sephiroth card over here. Uh, I will say, um, the Final Fantasy trading card game specifically is known um, as very good quality for cards. Um, they're very thick, to be honest. And here's how they look on the back, in case you were wondering. It's very thick and very like durable in terms of how they feel, but I highly recommend that you um, check this game out. You know, if you are interested in Final Fantasy. So here's another Sephiroth. This is the same thing. They give you three copies of Sephiroth, but only the one in the front is actually the foil, as you can see. You can kind of see the foil there as I'm moving it around. But then these are not actually foil, so... Okay. I'm going to put the Sephiroths right there. Alright, so here we have Azul. This is from Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus, I believe. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool character. So you got a... Uh, I think three Azuls, yep, Azul. Then you get uh, Angel Penance. I'm not gonna be familiar with all of these. I played a lot of Final Fantasy games, even on the channel, but that doesn't mean I'm familiar with literally every single character or, you know, enemy ever in Final Fantasy's lore and history. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, see, they, they, oh my gosh, some of them are actually stuck, I just realized, which is that good, you know? Red Mage is a Red Mage class. I believe it first appeared in First appeared in Final Fantasy 3, but then in future versions of Final Fantasy 1, it then appeared as a class 2. Two red mage. Let me actually make sure on that, because some of these are stuck, I've noticed. But, no, I think these are fine. I just want to make sure. 
Yeah, see, okay. Those, those are fine. It's just two. Then we have a restrictor over here. Okay. We got two restrictors. We have a Reno. Member of the Turks. Okay. And we have Reeve. I mean, it makes sense why they're all Final Fantasy VII characters, right? I mean, come on. Even if some of them are from Dirge of Cerberus, but yeah. And then we got Rama. Okay, a lot of people say Ramu. Uh, that you do not pronounce this guy Ramu, okay? Just saying. If you've been pronouncing him Ramu the whole time, that's good for you, but that is not correct. It's Rama, officially. Uh, Don Corneo. Another Don Corneo. Uh, yes, the funny segment of Final Fantasy VII. That's right. Uh, another common uh, mispronunciation, it's not Kate Sith. Uh, there's been debate about what it can be. Some people say Kite Sith, uh, Kai C, Kai Seath. Um, I'm not actually sure which one is official, but I know it's not Kate Sith. If you've been saying Kate Sith, that is incorrect as well. Lots of funny stuff, especially, you know, we grew up in these games that didn't have voice acting, so we just kind of assume what they were, but they were actually incorrect the whole time. Even I was surprised when I found that they were wrong. DGS, Trooper First Class. Okay, so we get, uh, we get three of these. Okay, I'm just gonna keep laying these right here, I suppose. Well, I actually have space over here. Put them right there. Then we have Deep Ground Soldier. I think we have three of those too. Yep, look at that. Okay, pretty nice. I'll put those right over there. Then we have Deep Ground Soldier, but a different type. We also get three of this kind. Cool. And then we have another type of Sephiroth right here. We've got Sephiroth, Sephiroth, Sephiroth. Nice. I'll just put this one here. I'm kind of running out of space. And then Black Mage, you get uh, three Black Mage of this kind of Black Mage, I should say. Put these here with the other mages. Then we get this type of Black Mage. Ah, yes, the very iconic Final Fantasy Black Mage. Get three of those. And then this one's a different type of card, as you can see. It looks very different. Summon, iconic summon Shiva. We get uh, three Shiva, I believe. Yeah, some of these are stuck a little bit there. There we go. We got three Shiva. Nice. And then we have Kadaj. Cool. And that's it. So that's it for this particular starter deck. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up now, now that you've seen this first one. All right, and that takes care of all that right there. Just going to go ahead and lay this deck right over here in this corner. And now we are going for the cloud one. Um, so if I just do... I kind of figured a little trick here. There we go. Got it, got it. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and remove all this stuff here. And then we can pop the cards out. Alright. So, I will read this one, just like how I did Sephiroth. Uh, this is uh, 2, Cloud. It says Forward Soldier. And then it says, put it up close. It's a symbol. Put one category seven forward into the break zone. Search for one forward that costs one CP more than the forward put in the break zone and play it onto the field. You can only use this ability during your main phase. What is this? Yu-Gi-Oh! Main phase. 5,000. 5,000. All right, so this one is, uh, you know, shiny. It's a foil. So you are going to get your three copies of Cloud, uh, like I was saying before. Uh, but only the first one here is actually the shiny one. So it's very nice. The other two are... Not nearly as nice looking, but if they're not foils, but it's fine. It's all good. Okay, then we got Vincent. Ah, yes, the main character of Dirge of Cerberus. And an actual character in Final Fantasy VII, obviously. So we got this type of Vincent. And then we have this Vincent. This is the more iconic uh, Vincent art that I usually see. Um, in like, everywhere online and stuff like that. But, yep. i put that one there. Next up is Wedge. Alright. We got, what, two Wedge. Like how some of this artwork is for like the old, you know, like like old artworks. Okay, so here we got Jesse. Very funny character. Fun character there. Miner. Got two miners. We got Marlene. Remember Marlene? I'm sure you do. Titan. Titan. Nice. Look at that Titan right there. So cool. So we get three Titans. It's not bad at all. Then we got Barret. Oh yes, it can't be a cloud deck without Barret, right? Wingman right there, right hand man, whatever you want to call it. And we got Red 13 over here. Yes. Another very nice party character. Very unique, very unique Final Fantasy main character, honestly. Next up is Tifa. 
I was hoping for some of the more modern Tifa art, you know. But I suppose that's fine too. Next up is Zack. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, obviously. I mean, he's referenced a lot in the original Final Fantasy VII, of course, and I'm not going to spoil the main story, you know, but something crazy happens regarding Zack and Cloud, just saying. Obviously, all of you already know what the story is, I don't even know why I say that. That game is so old, it came out in 97 or something, Soldier. Here we got Red Mage as well, I think it's the same exact one. I'm just going to put these right here, and I'm out of space. We got Red Mage. We got two black mages, you've seen this before, but here we got sage, that's a new one. We got two, oh, three sages. Three sages, okay. And we have phoenix, another very iconic summon in Final Fantasy. Very nice. Okay. We got, oh, we got two of those, no, three of those, okay. And then, ooh, look at that, we got Aerith, yes. Sweet. Three of them as well. Very long effect too, <laughs> as you can see. All right, so that is it for that. I mean, that is basically the entire starter uh, set of the Final Fantasy TCG, this one in particular. Again, there's a lot of starter sets out there and if you really want to look into that, gotta do some research. Just go to Amazon and type in Final Fantasy TCG starter set and you'll get some results. You'll find this one, you'll find a lot more. Like I saw some from Final Fantasy 13, from Final Fantasy 10 and a lot more but it's a TCG it's an actual TCG and there are sets that are booster packs and you buy packs to try to strengthen your deck just like Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon Magic the Gathering you know stuff like that so all right other than that I am actually finished with this video so as always don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video I will see you all later bye bye everyone have a great day